Today we're at Fenville Public School and we're starting with a second grade class and we're taking them through the growing cycle of basil and today they're going to plant some seeds. After about three weeks the students will come up to the high school and um, when the plants are ready to harvest we will harvest the plants with those same students so they'll see where their plants are at and we will try and make something out of those. So today we had basil ready to go for them already. So they came up, we harvested the basil, um, we took a, some group of students into the kitchen and they um, watched my um, head cook, help them actually make pesto in a food processor, add all the ingredients and mix it up. And we're going to use that basil pesto on a pizza for them to, to taste. Having that hands-on type of activity where they get to use their senses to explore the grow wall and then eventually eat it or taste that whatever um, herb is growing on the wall it was really exciting for them. The grow wall is an opportunity for all students to see us growing our own um, herbs and vegetables. From the classroom with the students and when we bring them to the high school, every day the high school students are coming in to get lunch. The grow wall sits right behind the serving line. They're seeing plants being harvested. They're seeing plants grow over you know weeks of time. Before we had the grow wall at the high school behind the survey line, it was basically a, a blank wall. And we were thinking instead of another poster that you put up and then it kind of loses its appeal after a while or no one notices it, we want to do something different. So I got with my maintenance um, team. We just put up some hardboard and bought some shelving from a local um, hardware store. It was very simple to build, it only took a couple days. The Team Nutrition Grant assisted with the wall as far as funding for the smarter lunchroom changes. And that focused more on signage and placement and the physical environment in the lunchroom. The environmental change that supports healthier eating. It built a culture of wellness in the school and having changes in the lunchroom at the elementary school and the high school, the students will be able to follow that throughout their school career here and have that support in that way. Once we built the wall, I was surprised at how um, easy it was to maintain compared to a garden. I mean, there was no weeding, there was no pesticides necessary at all because it's all hydroponic, um, there's no bugs coming out of the soil. Since we are a K-12 school district, we're not here on weekends, so having the hydroponic aspect of it is you check the water on Friday and you come back on Monday and you see everything is just fine. There are a lot of components to it, but if somebody wanted to do something very simple within the classroom, just getting a grow light, getting a tray, planting some seeds, it doesn't have to cost a lot of money, it doesn't have to take a lot of time, but doing just a little bit of effort can help the, the students see uh, the whole life cycle of the plant and then for them to eat it eventually. Every student that I, I saw, they at least tried the pesto. Not all of them liked it, but at least they tried it. So they, they had an understanding of the, of the whole process. And if it, it's just to even just introduce a child to a new fruit or vegetable or herb or whatever it might be. If we get one child that, that uh, decides that they want to continue to eat it, that, that's a success.